Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode here on the Voidcraft server. Now it has been a fair few days since the last time I actually came in here and uh, did some stuff on the server. Uh, i just been, you know, flat out at work again so that's kind of unfortunate but I have a few things I want to get done today and we also have some prizes. So the gem heist has finished, I think it probably finished up a week ago and if you guys remember from last episode that I made that deal with Abby and Roth and and turns out they won so I got to go pick a full shulker box full of items from both of their shops and we also have a third place uh, little thank you from crab so we got a heart of sea in that one so that's really cool I don't have any of that yet so that's that's kind of good I like that um, and then this one here is all the items that I picked from the shop so let's go ahead and open that and yeah I got some nice stuff I got a couple of wither roses a couple of TNTs I don't get too many TNTs is because uh, Abby said it's like pretty hard to craft them all so I didn't want to steal a lot but I think this should do us for a while I got a lot of iron because I want to go and get uh, a couple of nether stars is it yeah to make the the beams the portal what are they called um the beacons there, there we go uh yeah a couple of the beacons sorted so I got some iron so we can build bases out of that I just got a couple more mossy stone because I needed some of those and I really like these uh dead bushes so I got a couple of them and I got an efficiency four um five and a respiration three that I'm going to put on a helmet and then I just got this stuff here because I think I can you transform it from this into the netherite is it yeah the netherite gear so that's why I got one of those each um and yeah then i got some rockets because i use rockets a lot so hopefully yeah that's i think that's really good bargain for really what we did we gave them a fair few hundred a couple of points i also went mining in between episodes and i got like a fair bit of stuff there and i also got some new diamonds i think i got 21 diamonds i believe i still need to go and uh get some more netherite so we can get some good gear and i want to frame this or put it somewhere as well in an item frame so I gotta find a place to do that maybe I'll build like a trophy room somewhere that we can move the head and you know do all that kind of stuff so like throughout the server maybe keep our first set of diamond gear as well that we can hang up and stuff so I think that could be pretty cool um, and then I think for the moment we can go ahead and oh no I just stripped that I gotta fix that um, put this respiration on here as well so let's go ahead and knock that out there we go so we're looking pretty good here not too bad at all um, I need to repair this a little bit, but I mean that's pretty fine. We can get to that eventually And I should probably put all this stuff away, but I couldn't be bothered and same with this stuff here So maybe I will quickly do that and do that and get this place tidied up a little bit Alrighty, so we have also have a problem with these iron golems. So there's now two in here. There's one over here There's two in here three in here actually and they just kind of keep spawning And I'm not entirely sure if I kill this one if the other two are gonna come out So, you know, he lives here now. We're always this guy's here stuck on the railroad So <laughs> I'm not sure if there's something we can do about them to get them to stop spawning in here or what the go is But hey, they're here they're protecting my villages, so it's fine. Um, I've also gone ahead and gotten a few more villages in here. Um, this one here is Thorns 1, so we're going to let that reset. And I also realized that we can keep them in the minecarts. So, like these do here are like just walking around free and they kind of popped out of their place with their trapdoors and stuff like that. So, yeah, keeping them in the minecarts definitely going to be the way I go about it. And this one here actually has Silk Touch, so we're going to go ahead and purchase that off him there as well. He also sells bookshelves, which could be pretty good. Um, to get the books and things so we'll see how we go there but at least now we have him locked into profession we gave him silk touch and I need to start ranking them up and maybe get some zombies in here to get them discounted I'm not sure if that still actually works being 1.16 um, I know it was a thing in 1.15 uh, um, we'll have to see maybe I don't know if it still does work or not if it does discount I know it was kind of like not meant to happen so it's probably doesn't still work um, but we'll see and we can come over here and also lock some these guys into their professions i think he wanted uh maps yeah let's get one of those there we go he'll be locked in this one here does not seem to pick up the profession so we'll wait a little bit see how if, um, he does grab it or not and same with this one over here he does not seem to want to pick up the profession either but we have this guy here locked in so that's pretty good for now anyways and i was also thinking because of the 1.16 you can get that redstone the targeting system now so we can actually hook that up if we want to come back and you know change this and make it look pretty cool with the redstone and stuff so We'll see how we go there. Um, and this guy over here wants raw chicken and some of that, but I think it's pretty good for the meantime. Um, it's not too bad at all. We have another cat over here. 
Oh, why, why do we get all these creepers and like cat? Look, there's one cat over there. Another cat spawned in here. Weird. I don't know. But now he's now he's trapped in here with the uh, bloody things. Is he still in here? Yeah, look, there he is. Alrighty, well, you can enjoy being in there. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't really know what uh, the rest of the plan is today. I'm thinking I'm going to go have a fly around the capital and see if anything else is done. If not, I do want to go to the nether again and, you know, either try and get some more netherite or, or at least um, maybe potentially try and find some wither skeletons and stuff like that. Um, maybe I can get some heads there and get some beacons and stuff sorted out because I really want to get that done because I haven't really done that uh, too much before at all. So I think I might clear out the rest of this stuff from my inventory and grab a couple rockets and we can go have a look at the capital. All right, so we're getting, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but there's a big farmland, I think, going to start out this way, which is pretty cool. Um, let's go over this way. I'm not sure if it's anyone's in particular or if it's just like, like a group little project that they want to get sorted. Um, hopefully, they don't mind me coming in and having a look. Um, looks pretty cool, though. Nice little farmhouse. I, I don't mind it at all. This fence looks pretty cool. Um, I like that. I like the way they're done with the stone fencing and the thing like that. I kind of like... Um, in my single player, for any of you guys watch that, I did like a version of this, but with just like the fence and wood posts and stuff like that. Um, but I like this stone. It's probably more realistic. You know, people have a stone fence around, but this little cottage looks really cool. And I like the way this is all coming together. I, I imagine they're going to be, you know, spreading it all the way out and down in this whole area, which is really cool. And looks like there is a big old... Oh, this is awesome. That's cool. I'm not sure who's been working on this, but this looks sweet. That's nice. I'm guessing there's going to be a big bridge coming in here. Probably even water flowing under here. Maybe by the looks of it with a waterfall over that way coming down. That looks awesome. I really like the way this is looking. That's cool. A nice little gates there. And they've fully done all of this. This is crazy. Oh, can I fly please? They've, uh, you know, filled in all of this stuff here. Looks awesome. And they've raised up all of this stuff here, got the scaffolding going, that's pretty cool. And raised up this whole area over this way. Wow, this is coming good. Got some more land plots around here, we might be able to open up another shop, I don't really know of what. Um, I still want to do that idea I had of uh, the, d -d 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 -d, like selling the llamas, like with the, you know, like a llama sale and then also... Um, Yeah, you know, having like a llama shop that sells like things and you can kind of get a lucky dip as well, which could be pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if we'll still get into that, but we'll see because I think Abby and Roth did uh, make another game uh, where they, um, you like, it's kind of like a pricing. We'll go to, we should actually go play it soon. You play like a diamond block and you can potentially win some really good stuff. Oh, we have some, we have some ice sales. This is our first sale in the shop. That's awesome. Look at that, we have actually things. Wow, that's cool. One, two, three, four. We have four diamonds. That's awesome. Now that people actually might be buying some more stuff, we should uh, probably come and stock it up. I, I mean, I can fill this whole chest full of ice. It's no problem. Um, that's not too bad. And the blue ice is still a fair bit as well. Um, but for player trans transport, which is, you know, interesting. See if anything else is sold in here. Nope, nope. Nope, uh, nope. I don't really think this stuff here would sell too much, but, you know, just in case. Um, but yeah, we have four extra diamonds. That's cool. That's our first ship sale. Thank you. Boop. Back in there it goes. We should actually go out to our ice thing and farm up some more ice at some stage because it's uh, lacking quite a bit. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the capital and how it's going. It's looking really good. I should probably come over here and uh, try and help out a bit more as well. Um... But yeah, this, this sea looks pretty cool. I would think it, if we maybe... But yeah, this is this is it looking pretty good. I might go into the nether and have a quick look around maybe. I don't know if I want to actually because it's the nether and I really don't want to die. Um, but... <laughs> So, Bren and Crab have opened up their shop. I think they sell a lot of wool and um, item frames and that kind of thing. So, we're going to have a look around in here. Five diamonds for half stack. One diamond per two stacks. And one diamond per eight frames. That's not too bad. 
Um, and then we got to hear our colored dies. Three diamonds per stack. That's pretty cool. Oh, I like this. This looks awesome. Let's head upstairs, see if there's much up here yet. Not by the looks of it, but we're going to borrow the bed and sleep because it's night time and I don't want monsters to spawn and uh, have to deal with that. Um, but there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We'll probably come in here and get some uh, item frames, no doubt, because, man, I hate uh, getting item frames. It's a nice little outdoor area. I like that. Oop. These are my llamas I need to take because I was going to sell them as well. Um, wandering traders llamas because they sell for a bit more. Um, well, I'm thinking they might because they're a bit more of an effort to get, I suppose. Um... Ooh, there we go. Those were the days. What it was the achievement for? Enter a bastion. Hmm. This is literally like right behind the portal. And I also have no volume right now because it's playing through my speakers and I have it turned down so that it doesn't pick up my mic and I'm really worried of something, you know, coming up behind me like this. Oh, I can just one-shot him? Damn. And I got his head too. I'm kind of curious where you find, like, withers and stuff. Is there still, like, um, nether port, like the old bases and stuff around that you can go to. I probably should, I'm like, gonna have a look at this stuff up, but hey, where's the fun in that, right? Let's, um, go for a little fly over yonder, see if we can't see anything. There's endermen over this way. That's always fun. We do have a lot of skeletons up here. I hate skeletons, like, I really do. Yeah, she's selling, she was buying them for, oh my god, was that a gas shooting me? Oh my god, this is bad, this is bad. Fly. Just fly, please. Get out of here. Bye. Peace out. I'm not doing that with uh, no audio. Um, yeah, what I was trying to say is I know she was um, buying it for shulker boxes full for 32 diamonds, which is pretty good if you ask me um, for not that much work, and especially if there's a big patch of it just over there, I might need to go back and fill up a shulker box once I have audio and stuff in here. Um, it only seems like now that there's a ton of mob spawning, so I'm probably going to peace out of here and I'm going to have to look for some wither skulls at some point though and see where exactly they spawn nowadays. Why didn't it fly? Oh my god, I am stuffed. Okay, so I managed to get my stuff. I'm putting these rockets back complete a full stack just there. Boom, there we go. And uh, so, um, may have thanks, thanks, Tex. He's still, um, helping us out in the future, you know, even though he's actually left the server. But, um, his, um, very, handy dandy wings um really came in clutch for me so i'm gonna have to maybe make a little sign here a memorial or something for him <laughs> for saving all my gear i think i got pretty much all of it back i'm gonna go back in there and uh try and get my shovel i think i lost I think that's it, like as far as I can tell it was just my shovel which is pretty good considering um, everything and I just used one of my old uh, pickaxes and things so, Whew. Mm. So yeah it looks like we did lose our shovel but I mean it's not that big of a deal, I can make another one. I think that's pretty much all we lost um, from memory so I'm going to go and fly back to the overworld now because I just can't deal with this um, but I was thinking of maybe coming back in here and uh, potentially securing this a little bit more um, because the hoglin things, whatever they're called, still, it was right there, it was about to come and charge me as I went through the portal. There we go, so I just left a little uh, thank you message to Tex, so maybe he'll see this, maybe he won't, but um, yeah, thank you, you really saved all of my gear, so <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I think I have a lot of stuff to do just off camera, just a lot of little things, so hopefully I'll be able to get some of that stuff done. I actually have a weekend this week, so hopefully I will be able to get on and uh, do a lot more stuff. Um, so yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this episode, and it was a bit of a random run around and a panic death and all that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. 
Later. <laughs>